Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control a channel relay module using Arduino and a soft keypad. When you press any button, for example, channel will turn on and off and also it will show you the status of that channel. And all the channels are independent of each other. They can be controlled. You can get the code for this below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with it. There are situations that you need to control, for example, a channel relay with Arduino. And for each channel, you have to have eight push buttons. This is a push button that I've used for four, for three or three channel. As you can see, it will be very messy and you have to have a lot of wires and also these push buttons has to be connected and wired keypad will make it very easy to use and this is taking very little space the price is also reasonably low but and the wiring will be very clean and tidy for that reason i have spent some time to write the code for this to work i have separate video explaining this keypad in case if you need to use it without this uh, the link will be also provided but uh, I've, I've tried to make this independent and each channel can work independently without interruption or without uh, disturbing the other channel and they continuously stay and work and when you turn it on they stay on when you turn it off they stay off as long as the power is here let me now explain the relay module we have eight relays on this module that have been attached to this PCB and for each relay we have one input on this side this is the ground and this is the VCC which we need to connect 5 volts for operation of this uh, logic control and the circuit the pencil uh, this is a ground and then channel 1 up to 8 and then VCC so ground and VCC are on the both side of this uh, pen header and, and the channels start from channel 1 to channel 8. For each channel we have a relay driver with a transistor with a protective diode and resistor biasing resistor and also an LED. So this LED belongs to this channel and for each up to 8 LEDs are here. When the channel driver receives signal this will turn on telling us that the relay is receiving signal. And then when the relay is turned on, it clicks. Also, you can hear it. Each channel has optocoupler here, these black pieces that you see. These are optocoupler. Inside this, we have uh, phototransistors and photodiodes that isolates the circuit from Arduino. When you connect it to Arduino, the signal that comes here and to drive the relay will, is optically isolated and the light will turn the signal and the light will send signal to the transistor to turn this on this way we are totally isolated in case when you are working with high voltage or in an environment there is a lot of noise this will isolate the system from the noise side we have a jumper wire this jumper is to connect external power when you want to use external power then just remove this jumper and connect your power here which I'm gonna show you next oh, and the ground to the ground of Arduino and it will work fine but for test purpose you can put this jumper on the two pin on this side and the relays will power from this 5 volts each relay has three terminal because they have uh, contact and, the, and because when you connect let's say your AC bulb or motor or whatever you want to control will have two wires as a switch you can control turn it on and you can turn it off and the job of this relay is to connect and disconnect and for each we have three terminals these three are for this relay and these three are for this and so forth and for each you will connect your two wires at the middle and on this side for this one at the middle and on this side and the same way for the other one this will be normally open when the relay receives signal it will connect and turn on if you connect it in these two terminal this will be normally closed or normally connected when you connect your wires without any power your load will have connection when the relay is turned on it will disconnect it for you 
so that will be the opposite. The length of the module is 138.5 millimeters by 50.2 millimeters, and the depth is 18.8 millimeters. This is a flexible keypad, easy to use, and as you can see, we have only seven wires. This is 3 by 4, which will be 12, but we have seven wires because it uses the matrix method and Arduino can recognize and identify that and on this side it's female and here I'm using my DuPont wire male this keypad is 69.1 millimeter by 76.2 millimeter and length of the this wire is 82.1 millimeter. Let me now explain the wiring. The module is ground. I've connected it to the ground of Arduino in here. And let me remove that so you can see the rest easily. Then the first pen, the channel one is here. I, and it goes up to channel 8 and then we have VCC channel 1 I've been connected here uh, starting from pin, pin 9 it goes up to pin 13 5 channels goes here and the remainder of these wires 1, 2, 3 it goes the first one goes to the analog 0 as you can see the second goes to analog 1 and the third one goes to analog 3 and this pin as I mentioned, they can work as a digital output. And the last pin, which is VCC, have been connected to 5 volts. This jumper is set on the right side. For the keypad, uh, as you can see, these are all in one line. All together, I'm just inserting them from pin 2 to pin 8. Like this. So these bunch from 2 to pin 8. All of this, this is seven wires, have been connected in the same order that are connected to the keypad. Now let me explain the code. I have another video explaining the keypad, but here, let's go again. You need to download the keypad uh, library that I will provide you the link. Once you download it, it will be a zip file. After that, click on sketch include library and then go add zip library and then point it to the zip file that you have for example this is a zip you just point it and click open it will be included this code will perfectly work with this and here we define rows four rows we have because the keypad has four rows because this keypad has one two three four rows And we have three columns. And here, one, two, three, that is number of column that you set. And here, this array will hold the keypad values the way that they are appearing here from one, two, three up to this uh, asterisk zero and uh, hash with a nine. As you can see, they are here. So we are defining and filling this array like that. These are the pins that we connect for the uh, wiring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are in the same way that I will show you how you connect it, but these are the pins. And you must use these pins, otherwise you have to arrange it differently. We use the, uh, the class and we create an instance or an object. We call it keypad and then keypad make key map and we pass this and this and row column and then the keys all of these will be passed here keys row pins call pins column pins and then rows and columns how many row and how many column and these are the arrays that are holding you do not change this line these pins if you are connecting it to different pins change them and this is the start of relay setting and this is the end of relay setting. These are all for relay. And these are the pens that I've used 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This 14, 15, and 16 are 
analog 0, analog 1, analog 2. And then relay names, I call them channel, these names that you see here, I'll call channel 1, 2, 3, up to 8. You can change them because let's say this is a fan and this is other device, fan number 1, fan number 2, or heater number 1, heater number 2. So you can put your own text and it will be displayed easily on the screen. These two lines are used internally. When you push the button, it changes later on in the code. So the system remembers if the, if the for example, channel 8 was on. When you press it next time, it should go off and so forth. So do not change these. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baud. I from 0 to 7, less than 8. Pin mode using this array which goes from 0 to 7 at i become 0 1 2 3 up to 7 and picks up the appropriate value from this array in here and using this loop we just set all the eight channels as an output otherwise you have to copy and paste this eight times if we don't use this for loop and also we have to turn all the relays off and this the job of this line is to digital write to the appropriate pen send the high signal because i'm using low trigger and to turn the relay off we have to send high signal and um, the same way if we do not use the loop we have to have eight line of this so that loop makes it very easy and then we print this text on the screen on the serial monitor we go in the loop this val and key num key number are used internally and then we use keypad dot uh, get key will uh, get the key that is pressed and stores the value here as a character this line checks if the key is pressed and we check if the key is not asterisk and is not this means not not equal to this hash and not equal 0 and not equal 9 so because we want to ignore all these four characters if that is true then we say key this is the ASCII value we subtracted minus 49 to get the value this is ASCII table provide you the link you can have a look at it each character have a value for example the hash sign has 35 in terms of ASCII the star has 49 and if you pay attention from 0 to 9, this is the one we are interested. Any value of character 0 will be displayed as 48. And 49 will be 1 and up to 57. From the value, we have to subtract 49 to get the value. So we are subtracting it. It will give us, because this key is character, we use a casting method to convert it to integer and then subtract 49 now. The value will be stored here as key num, which I've defined here. And then we check if the key number is equal or bigger than 0 or smaller than 8. This action will take place. And then we check if the, that number goes to the relay status, gets the relay. If it is equal low, then here this line, the job of this line is an arithmetic reversal. It gets the value and reverse it and stores it here and we wait for 50 milliseconds and then this runs a control relay passing that number that we have it passes to turn the relay on or off doesn't matter because every time you press it the relay has to change if it was on it should go off if it was off it should go on otherwise we set the value equal low which means the key has not been pressed and here we do that again checking if the value is bigger than zero, 0, between 0 and 7, then the value will be stored in here. And the relay status, the relay status is an array that is holding the value. Initially, we set them high. High mean the relay should be off. And we wait 50 milliseconds. The loop continues like that. This is the relay control. We pass a number from 0 to 7 and this is a custom function that I've written below and the number that num will come and it will be called number and we check if the pushed and number pushed number is an array here pushed and then 
zero they have not been pushed initially but when you push it the value will change here and we are getting it we see if it is equal one this one we have to turn the relay on this line will turn the relay on this will print the text for us will print this number for us channel 8 and this on is this that is display there otherwise if it is not if it is on we just have to send high and turn it off as you can see here I press now number five goes on and off so that was printed by this and off was printed by this line and here is a demonstration this uh, serial monitor also shows the status of the key for us and when I press it for example channel 1 is off channel 1 is on now and also it prints this text for debugging purpose number 2 off as you can see it is off and it shows off turn it on it goes on and all other channels whatever status they have it will not change eight and here channel eight but if I press nine nothing happens the hash sign the zero because we have disabled it in code and any of these if you press them they perfectly work fine in a practical application this edge relay will consume a lot of current from Arduino and it's possible that uh, continuous operation of this might damage your Arduino for that reason you need to supply separate 5 volts if you are using this continuously to do that all the wiring is the same as you can see here right now if I press any button the relay works perfectly first remove this jumper the jumper the blue jumper here or whatever color you have it so when I remove the jumper the relays are still working but when I click it for example you see number 7 on off I'm pressing 7 but you do not hear the click because the circuit the control circuit works but the relay needs external power because we have disconnected it this is my 5 volts and I have connected two wires first connect your external ground to the Arduino so this must be shared and the other wires that you have connected to the first pin of this module to the first pin on this side pay attention this relay is now on as soon as I connect, connect it it will click and also the last one is on now this is clicking and it is on and it uses external power let me press number 7 Thank you for watching. This was how to use this 8 channel relay and control them with this keypad using Arduino. If you learned something from this video and like it, please thumb up and also please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. Make sure to leave the notification on.